welcome to my shopping haul. Um, wait, I'm just gonna put this down because they're happy. Um, a few weeks ago already, I think, like two weeks ago, I went to The Hague with my mom and we went shopping like a lot, um, mostly at um, <laughs> um, Primark. <laughs> I forgot the name, I buy all my stuff there. Uh, and I thought I would show you. I kept it all in bags. I used like one or two things already, but the rest I kept in bags because I really want to show you. But it didn't feel well enough till now to make the video. Uh, if you want to know more about our trip, which was lovely, my mom actually made vlogs about it. So I'll link her channel down below and I'll link the video at the end of this video if you want to see our trip. Okay, first things first. Um, there is this huge uh, shopping center not really like a shopping shopping shop <laughs> department store that's the word i'm looking for this huge department store called vrees and droman or vnd in uh in the netherlands and you know they basically have a huge store in every city like city big enough for those stores like we don't have it here but we have i live in a really small city so um <laughs> Uh, anyway, but they um, have gone out of business, unfortunately, and uh, but lucky for me, I happened to walk past one with my mom, um, and it's not hard to spot because their buildings are huge, so I'm really curious to see what's gonna be in those buildings after Fiendi leaves. But anyway, this video is gonna be long enough without me rambling because I've got so much stuff. Um, <laughs> Uh, but they had sale on like everything, but the all the good things were already gone like the previous few weeks And now uh, they had like the last bits and DVDs So I went in and I had like my arms stacked with DVDs uh, and then Had to pick out the ones I really really wanted because they were just too many and even with a discount It was too expensive for me to buy all of them and a little bit ridiculous, but I bought a huge pile I bought these DVDs um, and Blu-ray. So I bought Pixels. I think it was now only like four euro fifty or something, which especially for the Netherlands is extremely cheap. Uh, I've never seen this movie, but I saw the trailer and it looked ridiculous and stupid, but in a really good way. Um, Sixteen Candles, which was now like two fifty or something. I really wanted to watch that too. Two Bro Girl season three. I have no idea. Oh, they're falling where I am in Tuber Girls. I think I watched first season and maybe I'm in the second season but it's one of those series that you can just watch without really having to follow the story because there isn't like a really big storyline except the one explained in the beginning. So season three. The 100 which was now like 12 euros I think. Not even less. I think like 750 probably. Um, want to read the books first but yeah, I just couldn't leave it. Uh, Ender's Game for really cheap. Dead Like Me. Have any of you ever seen Dead Like Me? Uh, I used to watch it like a few years back, I guess when it was on TV. And it was so weird. But funny. And then it just stopped. Of course. But still, it was funny enough for me to want to uh, re-watch it. It's basically about this girl who dies and then becomes a Shinigami. Like a, a, a reaper. It's Shinigami. It's not Japanese. A Reaper. <laughs> and it's pretty cool. Then I have Lie to Me Season 1. I'm at Season 3 still. I think I have like 3 or 4 episodes left to watch. And I have had for like a few months. But it's a really, really good series. So I definitely want to rewatch that someday. And suit Season 1 because people tell me it's awesome and I need to watch it. So now I can. Because obviously none of these were on Netflix or anything. <laughs> but um, yeah, I like to have things, if you haven't noticed yet. Um, except from DVDs, I also bought this Star Wars notebook and this adorable little birdie notebook. I think this was once like 5 euros, this small notebook. I mean, it's, it's adorable, but still 5 euros for this. And uh, I think it was now like 50 cents. <laughs> And this one was like a euro or 150 or something like that, but it's awesome. We also went to 
uh, the Bijenkorf, which is another big um, shopping, I uh, lost the word again, department store <laughs> in the Netherlands. And they are one of the only places in the Netherlands where you can get paper chase. We don't have separate paper chase stores here, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, because I would buy so much stuff there. But I bought these. They were three um, little notebooks with gold on the edges. I haven't opened it yet. Uh, and they were now 4.75, which isn't too bad. And I just couldn't leave this one. I thought it was so cute. I just love the typewriter. And you're just my type. And um, at first I thought it was like a photo album for um, Instagram sized photos. But it's actually a little notebook, which is even cuter. And I really like it. Okay, that was the small bag done. Now I have a big bag filled with stuff. And it's all kind of jumbled together. So I can do like, I bought this there, I bought this there. Like I can say it for a few things, but basically um, it's all mixed up. I can show you this because I've been using it already. Uh, it's my new cup. Life is sweet and I really, really love it. And mm, Lemonade. I just love the way it looks and then it's kind of like a shake, like a milkshake form thing and I know I really love it. <laughs> and of course because I'm always carrying around water bottles with me anyway I bought another one because this one had little... Are these daisies in English? I think they're daisies on them and it was just too cute not to buy. So yeah, I think I have like six or seven of these now <laughs> but i like them better than the normal plastic ones because i always reuse those as well like um bottles like these i reuse those for ages but these you can technically use forever so it's better for the environment although i should probably stop buying like 600 of them because then it won't help the environment will it but um i use all of them so So we went to Primark at in The Hague and it is a gorgeous Primark. It's huge. Like I think it's probably the biggest in the Netherlands, although I'm not entirely sure, but it's much bigger than the one in Sandam where I usually go. So they had all the stuff that I used to see online and then search for in like my store and they never have it there because they're a smaller store. Like they have some stuff obviously, but like a lot of things I missed out on because it was a smaller store. And this one's just beautiful and like the way things were arranged it didn't really seem like a primark in kind of a good way <laughs> it seemed like a more pricier store i guess but not in a bad way i don't know i can't explain it just looked it looked hip guys it looked hip and um i didn't even buy that much in the beginning downstairs where all the clothes were i bought a pair of jeans that i'm actually wearing right now so i can't show you but they have pockets and like a zipper and everything because i'm actually kind of only wearing jeggings at the moment because all the jeans were just weird like really skinny and i have really fat legs and kind of thick ankles so skinny jeans almost never really fit me and these were normal trousers for once i said pants but like trousers i mean or pants if you're american but you know what i mean um but anyway, so I bought that one and this one, a Game of Thrones t-shirt because the show is almost starting again and it looks a little bit disheveled because I've been wearing it a lot already <laughs> and I really love it. It fits really nice and it has kind of rose gold on it, I guess, and I really love the colors and it has all the houses on it and it's amazing. Also for like three euros, I bought this shirt keep calm it's the weekend and it's actually a size smaller than i normally buy like at the moment i bought like size 20 because uh they were still a little bit loose fitting on me because you know i i'm not sure if i talked about this but you probably know if you see my videos that i've been gaining weight because mostly because of my anxiety and panic attacks and depression like i 
my way of dealing with things is shopping or eating so now i shop more because i'm actually on a diet at the moment so i shop like insane amounts of things it's my coping mechanism okay i know it's wrong but yeah um but anyway uh so it's actually size smaller but because i was just about to start my diet i was like you know what i'm gonna buy a size 16 because i can fit into 18 and 16 probably but i don't like the way 16 looks on me and 18 is okay but i like them a little bit baggy because of my <laughs> irritable bowel syndrome because my stomach tends to like blow up 20 sizes like i'm pregnant like in three seconds um so yeah anyway long story short i've lost some weight so i might actually already fit into this i'm not sure but Otherwise, I'll just keep it for like over a month or something in a month. That was Dutch. Speaking of Dutch, hold on. Just getting rid of the size. I bought this one. See, this is a size 20, so it will be really loose fitting. And I really like that. Um, keep calm. It's King's Day. If you don't know, in the Netherlands we celebrate King's Day or it used to be Queen's Day for like forever, but now we have King, so it's King's Day. And uh, basically the whole of the Netherlands turns into a big orange party and also uh, a flea market because we're Dutch and we like to buy things cheap and get rid of our stuff and still get money. So it's and there's like games and you can buy food and in like the big cities there's music like free festivals and dancing and lots of drinking but um yeah i'm really excited and this is the first time i actually have something orange to wear because i never do so i'm happy about that i also bought a new hat i have four hats now so it's not that bad yet because my brother just walked in saw all my hats and was like how many do you have because i used to have just one and like in a really short period of time i've accumulated four but i just couldn't leave this big floppy summer hat it's a floppy summer hat and i really like it i thought it was so cute and i like the way uh, it's like felt but like really thick and i like the way that the flowers are stamped out and it used to be 12 euros and i would have never bought this for 12 euros uh, just because i'm not really a hat person yet i want to be but i still feel a bit self-conscious wearing hats so um it was now five euros in this so i had to buy it and i'm really glad that i did so that was all the like clothes stuff like the hat doesn't even really count and i was like whoa i've never spent this little money in primark before like i had almost nothing in my basket and then we went upstairs to the home section and the sunglasses and like the 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 bits and bobs stuff like you know writing stuff and like the extra section they have there um and i bought way too much oh i spent so much money there like the the cups i showed you these I actually need a sip of a drink like i bought those of course after after the clothes as well so it turned out really great and then like almost everything that's still left is from primark um i'm just gonna show you <laughs> so first of all grumpy cat like it's adorable and awesome because she's so mad <laughs> so grumpy all the time and they had this at primark go away <laughs> And here as well, like the, the back is brilliant as well. Uh, can you go away? <laughs> can you just go away? And I thought this would be great for like a makeup bag or maybe some jewelry or if I go traveling. I'm not sure yet what exactly I'm going to use it for, but I just, I had to buy it. Maybe I'll put pencils in here. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's just too cute and angry <laughs> not to buy it. I can't believe they added a Primark. Oh my God. The cat is famous. So I also bought this adorable little thing and you will soon see why. It's um, a sunglasses case. Ah, uh, it's so filming. Okay, wait, I have to check what's the last thing I filmed. Ah, no, ah. Okay, so everything was still on there, thank God. Um, but I figured because I just showed you that, I have to show you the sunglasses that I bought. First of all, this was the last one that I'm holding in my hands right now. And it was misplaced, so 
I'm really glad that I found it because I've been looking for glasses like these forever and they're ridiculous and I really like them I feel like I look like Willy Wonka or something or like a hippie but I really really like them and I've seen glasses like these before and but always really expensive and just bought glasses because I have like a million sunglasses <laughs> and um yeah, so I never bought it. I saw like a perfect pair in Germany, but they were like 12 euros or something. And it was obviously like those cheap ones that normally cost like 6 euros, so no. Uh, but I think these were just 3 or 4 or something. I think 3 euros. And I've already used them and they're awesome. Then I also found these. Um, wait, can you see? Focus? Yes, I just love... The way they look like they look really vintage and sunny and i love them and i love this color like it's kind of like a beige pink and i really like it and it has its own little cover where you can put it in and i think it's beautiful also just three euros and i just this one was a little bit more expensive four euros <laughs> but i just couldn't say no Okay, this is gonna look ridiculous because everything's still on there, but look at them! <laughs> Especially this, I think I'm just gonna leave that on. But <laughs> they have little flowers on the top and I just thought it was so sunny and so cute and I just, I could not buy these and my mom agreed, so <laughs> yay! <laughs> There was actually a little bit more clothing, I completely forgot about this, but I also bought <gasps> A Star Wars crop top. Ah, and I really like it. I already have a Star Wars t-shirt that kind of reminds me of this one. It's pretty similar, but these have this one has bolder colors and it's more pink and purpley, and I really love it. And um, they didn't have it in my size, so I bought this one, size 16 as well. Uh, just you know, crop tops usually fit pretty white anyway, so probably like fit in it now but you know for it to look good I want to lose a few more kilos um, if you want to know more about my diet if that's for some reason interests you like I'm not judging <laughs> I'm pretty interested in those things as well uh, let me know I'll make a separate video uh, this is pretty unusual for my booktube channel anyway so I can make more unusual videos because uh, the whole two channel thing isn't working for me at all uh, but anyway Star Wars I'm probably gonna wear that to the celebration. It's like my goal to wear that to the Star Wars celebration and look good and feel good. Um, I like to motivate myself with stuff and money. <laughs> I also bought uh, these socks. Uh, they're Harry Potter socks, just the, the houses. And I actually already have these, but like the, the little ankle socks. And I love them. I wear them all the time. But usually I wear the ankle socks when I'm at home because if I wear shoes with ankle socks they end up just around my toes so I wear you know the longer um, socks even in summer often uh, not always but a lot <laughs> so I'm really glad with these really glad with these I'm really happy with them and I'm glad I have them I also bought these scrunchies I thought they were so cute and like 60 ish and even though my hair is pretty short I can actually put it up in a little bun or a little pigtail or not pigtail because you have to braid them but like a little ponytail or something and I just really love these and you know I can also keep them till my hair is long again if I ever grow it long again um, but I also bought these like the little hair bands I thought this one was so cute it's it's lace and it's also kind of the beige pink ones it probably fits pretty nice with my glasses um and it also came with this one which has a flower pattern and i thought it looks so cute wait hold on there you go so cute and this was only three euros for both of them i want to do more with my hair like i want to accessorize a bit more wear funny hats and sunglasses just wear like the the shit that i want to wear um which i always pretty much done but like lately i haven't been feeling so well so i've you know eaten more because that's what i do so i can gained more weight and like my meds and my my like anxiety and everything was really messing with me so i haven't been in an extremely happy place like the past 
two months, I guess. Like, there were good periods or... Or... Dutch, sorry. <laughs> there were some good days and everything, but, like, overall it was pretty crap. Um, this trip was awesome, though. And, uh, like, leading up to the trip, I felt horrible, so I thought it was gonna suck. And going... That was gonna go extremely wrong. But it didn't. It was awesome and we shopped a lot, which helped, I guess. <laughs> and yeah. So, moving on. Sorry about the length of this video, but hopefully you find it interesting. Um, I bought some... Can you see the um, earrings or ear studs, actually, in like this um, kind of coppery gold. And I really like it. Old gold, I think you call it. I love that way more than like the really gold, gold colors. I never wear those. And uh, she says grabbing gold, gold colors. Although this is more like, it's gold, gold, but also slightly rose gold, I guess. I don't know. These aren't as bad as others um, than the really gaudy gold that I mean. <laughs> but um, I just thought these were too cute. And I actually do have a few like gold, gold necklaces and stuff. So I did need some to fit with those, even though I hardly ever wear them. But they were just too cute. Um... Oh, I'm almost through the Primark pile, and then there's another store. That's a pile. <laughs> and then I'm done, I swear. Um, so at Primark, they also have these. They're just little, four little cards that you can send with um, butterflies on them. It used to be 150, now it's just 50 cents. And I just, I, I love this one, the top one, and this one a lot. So I guess I'm gonna send those to friends, or maybe hang one of them up behind me. Um, another grumpy cat. Ta -da! I feel like that more grumpy cat. Or maybe that was my mom. I think she bought something else from grumpy cat. But anyway, I had fun once. It was awful. <laughs> so cute. It's a little notebook. And it said, this is my happy face. And then a grumpy cat. And I guess I'm just going to use this for like story ideas. Or maybe just when I'm grumpy. And just write it off me. Just write down why I hate the world or something. <laughs> oh, so cute. I don't know why she's so cute. She's so angry. But yeah. I guess because she's a cat. I don't know. A little tiny cute cat. Like what do you have to be grumpy about? You have servants everywhere. Um, anyway. Because I'm basically a really big kid. Uh, if you haven't noticed. I um, I had to buy these. Um, it's, you can't really see it, but it's an R2 pass, and I didn't have it yet. Although, now I think about it, I have a set of Star Wars passes, so it's probably in there, but like that doesn't count. And all these delicious passes that I can't have, so I'm just gonna keep this closed till I'm off my diet, and then I'm gonna eat them slowly and share them. Um, and I also had to buy Batman, <laughs> and also had Superman. <laughs> I thought they looked so cool. Wait, focus, focus. Yes, there we go. And um, if you don't know, I actually have quite the past collection. It started like one or two years ago. I just randomly bought one because I was like, oh, nostalgic. I remember that from my childhood and it was cute. So I just bought it and now I have like this whole row up there filled with passes and like a few around my room. <laughs> I also bought this. Uh, at Paper Chase, so it was uh, with the other Paper Chase stuff. It's a photo album, but uh, my mom and I always use these as like art journals or for me usually just to paint and draw in. And they're perfect for that, by the way. And these one, this one has black pages, so I can use like colored markers or uh, like gel pens or just white pencils, which is gonna be awesome. And it was only four euros because it's a little bit damage slightly but it's gonna get more damage as i use it so that's okay like a tiny bit i guess no one wanted it for some reason maybe it was a bit too dark a bit too black for your photos but i'm really happy with it so now everything that's left is basically this one store i forgot the name but i'm gonna look it up and i'm gonna put it here pardon this <laughs> this one store that um we stumbled upon in The Hague. Maybe it's like a really well-known story, but not above The Hague. At least like not in my little corner of the Netherlands. Uh, and at first I just wanted to walk in because it looked a little bit like 
Xenos, if you're Dutch or wherever they have those. Um, but, you know, like a worse version of it, I guess. But they had like some funny hats. And I want to look at those. And then we went inside and saw that the store just stretched on and even went up. But we couldn't go there because uh, my mom was in, the wheel in her wheelchair because we had to walk a lot and she can't do that. So uh, we decided not to go up there. But <laughs> we bought so much stuff. Oh, it's ridiculous. Um, a few things I already put in storage. Uh, I bought this little jar, like this little jar lemonade cup thing, you know, of a straw, but it was pink and it had like this really cute little lines on it. Um, but I want that for when I have my own place because we don't have room anywhere in this house. <laughs> so I put it in storage and I also bought some... Um, they call it placemats in English because it sounds English, but we call them placemats. Like the little things that you put your plate on so that the table doesn't get dirty. I bought two of those of Charmy Kitty from Samuel and they were adorable and one from Star Wars. <laughs> Bit random, but yeah. Uh, and all this stuff, so I'm gonna show you. First I bought some Star Wars stuff. An Anakin um, from the Clone Wars. Um, um, eraser, it says eraser, god. Um, and a little R2 one, and I just thought they were cute. I'm not gonna use them, I think I'm just gonna get them out of the packaging and put them somewhere on display. Um, just put that there. Also, bought some store stickers. Uh, I'm not sure what for yet, but I just thought they were cool. I re recognized them from the Clone Wars, and also this, um, game i've been obsessed with like star wars heroes on on my phone if any of you play it let me know because it's awesome and i'm obsessed with it especially like the you can um get ranks like how good you are you can fight people and get different ranks and i was ranked 192 for like this moment and it was awesome and now i'm like 265 again or something but um I, i'm can get really competitive about that stuff and I really love it and I do it all the time. But anyway, um, stickers. I also got this tiny little brush for my painting because I'm always buying tiny brushes. I have a lot of big ones and like normal sized ones, but like the really small ones, I always seem to lose them, I think, because I buy so many of them. But I'm always out of like the really good small ones to use. So this wasn't too expensive, so I bought that one. Uh, let me see. Oh yeah, I don't know if you know, but I actually collect coasters. I should show you my coaster collection sometime. And I found these. Um, focus. To save time, let's just assume I'm never wrong. <laughs> um, this one. Nobody's perfect, but I'm pretty close. <laughs> I just love them. They're so sassy. I especially love this one. I love her face. Start the day with a smile. It irritates people. <laughs> And this one. I can only choose one person to please. Today I choose me. <laughs> oh, it's actually I can only choose one person. But today I choose me. And I also found this set. Which I thought was adorable. But um, because I kind of collect coasters. So like l later in my house I just want to put a pile of like random coasters down and people can just use those so i don't need like a whole set of these so i'm just gonna pick out two that i like and the other four i'm gonna give to a friend of mine who just got her own home and i haven't seen it yet i've given her a housewarming gift though like with my other friends who went but i couldn't go because i wasn't feeling good um but when i visit i have something nice and small to take with me um my battery's flashing <laughs> i hope i can finish this uh quickly i also got this a little hairpin or little it's actually quite big um of this old gold feather and i really love it um this adorable little mirror it's so cute i don't even need another mirror but oh it's just so adorable i just had to buy it that that's the thing with me <laughs> i had to buy it um also this adorable tin it's called Lonely Cat, which is quite sad. A lonely cat quietly waiting, it says. 
And it actually looks a little bit like it's waiting or just seeing you eat food or something but I, I loved it because they had the glasses and the books and a little frog pencil and I've no idea what to put in this so if you have any suggestions let me know maybe tea could be a nice little tea tin but I really loved it and I just I had to buy it I couldn't help myself um oh, a few more bits and bobs from another story um Sistrene Grene I think you pronounce it like Sisters Green it's this shop I think from Norway or something up there <laughs> sorry something Scandinavian and they have the most adorable stuff oh Denmark it says on the back it's Denmark um and about this oh we almost made it guys uh but not in time so <laughs> I just had to switch my battery thank god we have two of them um so I bought this little notebook it's actually blank page so I can also draw on it and this one, I just, oh, I love the motifs so much. And they were so cheap. This was like uh, 83 cents. And also you can draw in it. And then this one, I just, I couldn't say no. Also with little flowers on it. And then I think I have like a few tiny things that are missing. But they were like really tiny. One of them was a little cat tin with mints. I have no idea what that one is. But a few tiny little bits are missing. But last and least probably <laughs> i bought these that i can't even eat right now um little doggy paws i just thought they were so cute it's candy and it has like this little cute dog on it waving and the candies are shaped like dog paws and they were only 25 cents now in like a discount bin uh in chinatown we bought these and they have them for cat paws as well and it's so cute look at the little cat how can you say oh Focus. How can you say no to that cat? You can't. That's how. And um, because I, I had to. <gasps> Pokemon. They had Eevee and um, Pikachu and a few others, but Eevee is my favorite. So I bought this one. Oh, so cute. But I can't eat them. But oh well. <laughs> that was basically everything I bought. It was really. It's kind of bad, but you know, this was a special trip, and it's. Our trips are usually shopping trips. Like we want to see some culture, maybe depending on what kind of trip. But this was just a shopping trip as a reward for me doing my exam. Um, even though it terrified me like so much that when I walked off the stairs to where it was, like I my legs started shaking so bad, I almost thought I had to like call out to my mom was waiting below um, to come and help me because I I couldn't move. Like I was paralyzed with anxiety and panic and. Like, my anxiety stuff started because of school, so it's really linked to school-related stuff, especially. Like, it is now, unfortunately, everything, but mostly school-related stuff. And this terrified me so much that I just wanted to do it. Like, we almost decided to stop uni again, again, because I just, you know, I had too much going on. Like, I had my... You know, I was working on myself a lot and that was working, but like the the coursework was really holding me back that I had to do because I couldn't do it. I can't concentrate at the moment. Like I, I even have trouble like reading normal books, so textbooks weren't working for me. And um, so I decided I had these um, summaries that I got from friends who did it and like from the internet and um so i decided to just read the summaries and didn't even read all of them and still managed to get a 43 percent so i'm actually really proud of myself first of all that i decided to do it anyway because my mom and like everyone was like oh maybe we shouldn't do it like i was like maybe i shouldn't just just quit and then i was like no wait this exam is like giant in my head like it, it's just gonna get bigger and bigger and scarier and scarier and it's just an exam like i didn't even have to pass it just going to the exam was terrifying uh but i did it and this was my reward <laughs> going shopping so basically we said the whole time like should i do this already but so much like treat yourself because we watch parks and rec a lot i've watched the entire series twice already and i really love it and they do it there anyway sorry it's so long i hope you enjoyed this um Bookish videos coming soon, I hope. Whenever I feel good, I'll try to make a video. I'll try to make them even when I don't feel good. Because that's actually going to be part of like this whole process I have to do. Of trying to get past most of my anxiety. So 
if I look crap er than this <laughs> really hot right now um, that's why <laughs> anyway rambling over I hope you really enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment because I really love reading your comments like what did you like what would you like to buy do you have any of this stuff like just let me know just talk just chat just say hi um, it makes me happy and yeah subscribe if you want to see more videos mostly bookish videos but there are gonna be more of these kind of things like randomly placed between them because I had this channel North channel but it's just too much right now to have two and no one watches there anyway because I never upload anything so I'm just gonna put everything on here if you don't mind if you do just don't watch these videos but you're here still so you do apparently um, anyway I'm gonna go thanks for watching and I'm gonna have to clean all this up now try and find space for it <laughs> bye